2014.
From almost every corner of this great land, Camp Australia have brought children together. And together with Star Time, Camp Australia have inspired children's creativity through the magic of filmmaking. From the east, from the west, north, south, and from the nation's capital, 2,218 children have made 577 films in 86 Rocketeers workshops. And tonight, we bring you 13 finalists and two specially selected films. Direct from Star Time Studios, live streamed across Australia, welcome to the world premiere of Camp Australia's Rocketeers Film Festival. And now, here are your hosts, Matt and Emma. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, stop it, please. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. No, keep going. <laughs> You're too much. Hello, everybody out there Hello. and out there in the Zoom. And welcome to the premiere of the Rocketeers Film Festival, the world premiere. That's right, Matt. Firstly, we would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay our respects to elders past, present, and future. Now, we have an amazing lineup of films for you tonight. We're about to witness some amazing creativity from the young Rocketeers filmmakers from all across the country. And on top of the incredible films we're about to see, we're also going to give away some amazing prizes for awards, uh, meet some great special guests, and there's even going to be a fun little game we're going to throw in the mix for oh, you to enjoy too. So strap yourselves in and enjoy. On first, what? we have one of those special guests you ah, speak of. A special guest already. That's right. He's helped make all this possible and he wants to say a few words to our budding filmmakers. Please make him feel very welcome. Who it's Camp it? Australia's Chief oh, Executive Officer. That is a Mr. Warren Jacobson, everybody. Warren. Thank you, everyone. I am absolutely delighted to be with you this evening. It is so wonderful to see so many smiling faces and thank you for having us in your living room on this Sunday afternoon. To distinguished guests, and we have some of those, to proud families, to our school partners, our event partners, to my wonderful team, and most importantly, to the future of Australian storytelling. We're delighted to have you here to celebrate children's creativity through film. The Rocketeers Film Festival was born out of necessity to give children across Australia a platform and a voice to express their creative expression, where for so many and for so long, their wings have been clipped by COVID lockdowns. In March, 2020, I'm sure you'll agree, all of our lives were thrown upside down with the beginning of the pandemic, and no one was more affected than our youngest and most vulnerable, our children. The lingering threat of lockdowns and restrictions and homeschoolings has gone on now for over 18 months. But against this backdrop, children have been inspiring through their optimism and their resilience. I'm sure many of you have done it. Messages of hope etched in chalk on the driveways around the country has been indeed inspiring and has been an outlet for great imagination. Hope through imagination has struck a chord with us at Camp Australia. And so we set out on a mission to showcase this by providing children with an opportunity to express themselves, their emotion, their character, and their imagination. And we partnered with Star Time, experts in creative learning, to deliver filmmaking workshops in our Rocketeers Vacation Care Services, where your children wrote, directed, and starred in their very own films. Even though our plans were interrupted by restrictions in New South Wales, in the ACT and in Victoria, where we had to quickly adapt with online versions of the festival, we did so to make sure that no one missed out. And what you'll see this evening are 15 of the best, yeah? 13 award winners and two special mentions chosen through the Rocketeers Film Festival competition. 
We saw hundreds of films created, each with its own magic touch and each filled with talent and potential. And I would like to congratulate all of the children who participated in the festival. And if you're shown, your film is not shown tonight, you should still be congratulated for expressing your emotions and your feeling and for the bravery to do so. And if you're in one of the final 13, you should feel very, very proud. So thank you again for joining us. And without further ado, I'm going to hand back to Matt and Em, and we're going to get the films underway. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Warren. Thank you, Warren. Yes, you, Warren. for those terrific words of encouragement to every child who participated throughout the in-service vacation care program and through the online submissions. Now, Emma, you're probably going, what are you talking about? What is this in-service? Yes. Uh, what, what's online? Well, our in-service vacation care program was our face-to-face -face programs in those states that could do it, that okay. had staff from uh, Camp Australia and from Star Time working together to help our, uh, our kids make their awesome films. But of course, do you remember a little thing called the pandemic oh, and lockdown? Yes, yeah, so those, those people in New South Wales, Victoria and ACT who had to go through a lockdown, we had to make a, a different online submission process so they could make their films at home mm -hmm. and still get them in and enjoy the, um, the competition that we're doing right now. So we and, have separate categories. Separate categories, yeah. I see. Congratulations to everyone that made films and especially if you adapted to those changing conditions and you made your film from home, yes. well done. Yes, so the following 13 films have been selected as the best films in their state, Ooh. all right? And they're then divided into the categories of junior and senior divisions. Okay, so these films have been judged and there'll be prizes given to both the in-service films and the online film submissions. For the in-service films, the prizes we have are for best film, Ooh. best original screenplay and best actor. Yes, and for the online film submissions, we have best homegrown film yes. and best homegrown actor. Now, excellent, yes. I'm sorry to say, before we start, we're about to show you the films, but I just wanted to mention the criteria that every um, filmmaker had to go through. Okay. So each film has to have at least one special effect, all right, and they can go no shorter than 30 seconds and no longer than one minute, okay. all right. So they, those are the rules. I don't make the rules. Some pretty strict, strict but rules. But those there. are the rules. Um, oh, yes, and also. Yes. While we're watching these films, guys, we've got a little game. This is the game I was talking oh. about before, okay? Yeah, so, while you're watching the films, pay particular attention to every detail because we're going to have a little question and answer after a select few films. So, every now and then after a film, we're going to be like, it's pop quiz time. Okay, so great, great. play along at home and see how you go, all right? All right, so... All right. <clears throat> I guess we should... Oh, hang on. Just got a little... I brought my phone here just in case I got a hello. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Well, I was going to. Yep. And okay, if you could just got it. Thank you. Bye. What did they say? They said, please get along with the films. Oh. Keep going. So let's do that. Let's start. All right, everybody. Um, let's watch our very first film. Yes. Our first film is from Western Australia. Okay. Beautiful state, WA. And the filmmakers are? The filmmakers are Cadence Moss, Gracie Dunlop, Amelia Nuguna, and Hania Chima. And they've made the film The Snowman Across the Street. Take it away. Hey guys, we saw this amazing snowman on a walk just then. Cool, where is it? Over the hill across the street. You should go check it out. Okay, let's go. They said over the hills and past the trees. What are they talking about? There's no snowman around here. <laughs> Do you think the snowman could have been a monster? What makes you say that? The hair on the fangs. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh no, they led their friends right into a snowman <laughs> and a, a, a scary monster. Guys, come on. And they on. had such tiny little teacups to drink from. Ah, uh, yes. Brilliant. Well, what a great first film. That was excellent. We're right on to our next All film. All right, our next film is from New South Wales and it's from the Senior Division. 
It's made by Catalina Tome. And, and it's the film is called Catalina's Thunderstorm. Take it away. Once there was a normal girl called Catalina. One day she went for a walk and got struck by lightning. This is awesome! I have power! She realized that she had powers. She could control the weather. Now she uses her powers for good. Catalina! Yes, what do you need? Could you please roast my mushroom? Okay. Wow. Wow, we. Well oh, excellent. Done. Another great film. Wow, that was some awesome stuff if she did there. If only we could all roast our marshmallows just yes. with a tip of your finger. But I think she might have waited for a rainy day and then a sunny day to make that film. So very good. Very good commitment well done, there. Hey. Yes. I know it's early in the piece, but I've got a question on this one already. Okay. Was, yes. I, was everyone watching? <laughs> was okay. everyone watching and paying uh, close attention? In that film, Catalina's Thunderstorm, did you spot what colour the car was? Emma, what uh, colour was the car? Because let me tell you this, I don't remember. I think it could have been red or maroon. Red or maroon. Have we got a photo? Let's uh, go in and see if it was red or maroon. What did you guys think at home? Oh, Ooh, it's oh, hard to see. Oh. I think that's red. It looks red. It's red. It's red. Well, well, it's starting very difficult. Did anyone out there get red? Give us your start time fingers if you reckon you saw what colour it was. Oh, Ivan there got it. Oh, a few, oh, a few Aman, people got it. All right. all right. Well done. All right. We should go on to our next film, next should we? Film. Our next film is from the Northern Ter Territory and it's in the junior category. Uh, yes. Our filmmakers were Zoe Fenwick, Taylor Fenwick and Skylar Orridge. The film is called The Tornado. Let's check it out. Kids, get in here! Yes, yes Mum! We are out of milk. Go to the store and get some more. But Mum, we are in the middle of a storm. We have to stay indoors. Without milk, there will be no breakfast tomorrow. Off you go! Where's B? She got sucked up by the tornado. Oh dear, did you get the milk? Yes, I did. Great, let's have Milo. Oh, wow. Well wow, what done. a harsh mother that was. <laughs> Just lost well a kid, done. but they got the Milo, they so well done. Milo's important. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, next film. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Let's go. It's from WA and it's in our junior category. Yes, filmmakers were Amelia Naismith, Ruby Schmidberger, Chloe Sheridan and Iman Magumbo. And the film is called Spiders and Screams. Whoa. Oh no, there's a red fat spider in the cave. I know, and our friends just went in the cave. What should we do? I think we should go in. Yeah, it might be too dangerous. Yeah, I thought that as well. We should just wait until they find the red fat spiders and scream. Yeah. Polly, did you hear that? Hear what? Fat. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah. We nearly died from the big scary spider. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Every single one of these films is knocking it out of the park. We're going to have trouble picking an award. <laughs> we do. I've got a question for anyone that was watching closely. Oh, question time. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. How many actors in that film were wearing hats or headwear? Oh, headwear. Okay. Well, yes, you're saying hats, I'd be like, maybe none. But I believe there was a girl wearing uh, like a, a little bow headband thing. So how many, how many would you say? My answer is one. I'm going to say you are correct. Ah, do we have, you... do we have a photo? No, moving on. Everyone, who else agrees it was one? It was yes, one, right? Yes, definitely one. It was, there's the headband. <laughs> okay. Good question. All right, let's move on to our next film. Yes, this one here. It is um, 
It is uh, from South Australia, this one, and it's from the Senior Division. We have our filmmakers Christopher Trotter, Matthew Trotter, Sienna Clegg and Ruby Lee. And it is called Bolt in One. Hi Beth, we like to play golf. Okay, but there's a thunderstorm coming, just saying. What do you think? Let's play. Chances of getting stuck by that one. Oh, that's not the same as you in the hole in one. Wow, very fun. I'll wait here, I don't want to see. Chicken. Did you hear something? I think I did a few minutes ago. You're back already? How did you go? I got a hole in one, yay! Bravo, bravo. That was very good. I'm passing out acting at the end there. I thought that was <laughs> top shelf. Well done. Now, that was excellent. Uh, yeah. That little question you asked before, yeah. could that maybe apply to this movie? There has been some more headwear, I've noticed. Yes. How many hats was in that movie did we see? Just hats specifically? Just hats, no headbands? The answer is one. It's what? Did you guys get one? Yes. All right. I there's think... the one hat and there's a headband. But we were asking the hats. Okay. Well, now that was... Ooh, you've really got to be watching closely, don't there you? There it is. There it is. Now, how many hats are, are being worn right now? Just one, me. <laughs> All right. I think we should move on. That is our first batch. That's our first batch of films. And I think it's time well for done. our first award, everybody. Oh. Now, before we go to our award, I would like to cross to Adam from the Australian Film Critics Association. Let's hear from Adam. Hi Rocketeers, my name is Adam Ross and I am the chairman of the Australian Film Critics Association. Coming up next, we have the award for best original screenplay. Now they say that children have the best imaginations and tonight we have seen such a great expression of that. The screenplay can be a complete work of imagination or it can come from your real life. But remember that when you're making a film, that the most important thing that you have is the pen and paper. It's the ideas that are so important. So tonight we are here to celebrate a brilliant idea and coming up next is the award for best original screenplay. Thanks, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Now, the winner for best original screenplay is, oh, hang on, actually, did I explain what best original screenplay was? Well, no. In, this, in regards to this competition, because in the in-service um, competition, we're, we actually provided a lot of pre-written scripts, okay? Just so our, um, our uh, uh, people in the competition had more time to film, all okay. right? So we only had limited time. However, we uh, did allow our students to either change the words or change the actions as they saw fit. So we were judging these on on that specifically that okay it's wonderful Great. and the winner for best original screenplay is drum roll please drum roll it's spiders and screams spiders and screams it's amelia naismith ruby schmidberger chloe sheridan and iman magumbo aha congratulations everyone you all get free movie tickets for a year how does it feel to win best original screenplay? <laughs> hey guys. Thank you. How do you feel? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's let's <laughs> chat to um, give us your star time. Give, give us your wave your fingers if you want to have a chat to us. Which one of you guys want to have a chat? Oh, there we go. Is that Chloe? Is that Chloe in the bottom corner there? Hi, Chloe. Now, Chloe, um, uh, did you contribute in writing this script, adding some words and things like that? Yes. Oh, yes. What was your favourite bits in the film? The spider. The, the spider. spider. The spider was pretty good. Let's go to Aman. Aman, did you have fun making this film? Yes. Yes. What was your favourite part? The cave. The, the cave. cave! The cave was Being very in the good. Cave. Now, not only did you guys have a great script, your performances were so awesome as well. All round, we were laughing with all your funny gags and that bit at the end where you came in at the end and said... Everyone did such a great <laughs> job. So well done, guys. You get to enjoy as many movies as you like this year. So Go enjoy. Go enjoy. Well done. Well done, everyone. You did it. All right, thanks, girls. Thank you.
All righty, let's move on to, uh, yes. It was a wonderfully deserved award. Yes, so. it was. Um, uh, Em, do you have the time? The time? Um, yes. Well, I think it's about 10 to 6, but uh, what a weird question. <laughs> no, it's time for the next batch of fantastic films. Wow, <laughs> excellent. I think there's normally a Badum Ching there. But anyway, <laughs> let's let's kick it off. We've got um, our next one from Queensland. Queensland. It's the senior division. And our filmmakers are Jacob Williams, Ivan Gishgariani-Miles, Tayden Hubner and Jace McNichol. In the Giant Olympics. Take it away. Want to come to the Giant Olympics with me? I've got spare tickets. What's the Giant Olympics? It's like the normal Olympics, except it's for giants. Cool, I'll come. Yeah, me too. What should we watch? There's the giant hurdles over there. What about the giant long jump? What are those giants doing? I think that's the... Oh no! The giant jump! Run! Ah, well done! So cool. That looked like a giant coronavirus. Yeah, what was that big virus thing? That was scary. <laughs> hey, Emma, would yes. you like a question on this one? Because I've got one. Okay. So were yes. you guys paying attention? We've got a question for this one. And the question is this. It's actually multiple choice. Oh. I've got a multiple choice. So what were the three sports at the giant Olympics? Was it uh, A, long jump, high jump, and hurdles? Or B, shot put, swimming, and high jump? Or C... Hurdles, long jump, and shot put. If you're playing along at home, you can give me an, an A, a B, or a C. C. Well, what do you reckon it is? Hold it up to the screen. All right, Emma, what do you I reckon? I don't remember any swimming, no so swimming. I'm going to no go swimming. with C. The answer is C, hurdles, long jump, and shot put. So well done if you got C at home. Nice work. All righty. Let's move on to our next film it's um, from film. Uh, this one's from northern territory it's yes. from the senior division our filmmakers are akshara naveen kumar ayesha satar daphne shutenko and rachel shutenko and they've made fishing for chips okay guys put your wetsuits on it's going to show the bottom of the sea and you know my it's too scary there's nothing scary actually what about the giant objects <laughs> It's okay, we don't have to go into the sea if you don't want to. We can, we can go and get the fish and chips instead. Check this out. What's that? A school of fish. What about that? A seahorse. And that? A giant octopus. <laughs> well done. Oh, I do enjoy squid at fish and chips. Yum, oh, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Mm. I've actually got a question. Oh, right away, back to back. Yeah, if anyone was watching closely. Well, I was watching. There were some fish in the background, mm -hmm. and most of them were one colour, I think. What colour mm. were the fish? What colour were the fish? Anyone know? Have a think. What colour were the fish? I'm going with blue, like the ocean. Purple, uh, pink, red, red, red. Do we have a photo? Can we, can we check? Oh, there, there are lots of colours. Oh, the, there the, seems to be a lot of red ones. Most of them are red. Okay, okay. Red, red it is. I Did we get red, red at home? I was going with red. Did anyone else think red? Yeah, think red. Oh, I reckon we should go to the next movie. What do you reckon? I think it's time. Okay, who's next? The next movie is from the ACT. It's from our online submissions. Ooh, and it's by Amika De Winter. And it's called When Your Teacher Stands Up in Class. Skit. Okay, today's lesson class is stand up if you think you're stupid. Anyone want to stand up because you're stupid? Oh, this class is broke. Anyways. So, Amanda, you think you're stupid, huh? I just felt bad for you because you were the only one standing up. Where'd you get the microphone from? 
Where did she get the microphone from? Where did it come from? Uh, so that was a that was a one woman show. That one, excellent well, there are work. Actually, two people in it. Oh well, <laughs> you tricked me. Well done, guys. Um, should Very we well done. move on to the next one there? Yes, our next film is from Queensland. It's part of our junior category. Yes, the filmmakers were Axel Shanks, Austin Tolson, and Riley Martin. And this film is called Finding Rex. Finding Rex. Excuse me, can you help me find my pet lizard? Sure, I can help. What's your pet's name? Rex, but be careful, she's really big. Rex, Rex. How big could Rex really be? I don't know. Their pet could be very big, uh, uh, very, very big. Extremely big. Um, oh, I got a question for this one. I got oh, a question. Okay. okay. See, it's a, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. The question is, what was the name of the pet lizard? Well, I think that Anyone was... Anyone know that one at home? Hmm? I'm going to say Rex. Oh, yes, Rex, Rex, it yes. Was it was called Finding Rex. That was an easy one. That was easy. Too easy. Too easy. The next one's going to be harder. All right, let's go to our next film, which is uh, from Victoria. It's from the junior division. Our filmmaker is Ruman Gulati. And the film is Arachnophobia. See when see spy to and up the water spout. Down came the rain and wash the wind see out out came the sun shine and dried up all the rain and in see wind see spider climb of the spout again yay here he comes <laughs> Oh, well done. I was not oh, expecting that ending. That was frightening. And why did he have so much glee when the spider <laughs> arrived and attacked the camera? It was like Ruman had planned it from the beginning. He summoned that spider. So I'm not going to, I'm never singing Itsy Witsy Spider again, especially not on an, uh, yep. For you. Yeah, okay. About the film oh, and please. everyone watching at oh, home. A question, yes. What colour was Ruman's teddy bear? Oh, did we see? Did we see? I think I was funny. It was quite dark. It was quite Ooh. dark. It was like in a shadow. Maybe too. But I'm going to go, most teddy bears are brown. I in thought, my experience. I thought it was brown. Brown is the answer. Do we have a... Uh, 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 yeah, I, mean, I, I reckon that's... It could be need, black. We need to shine some more light on that. We oh, look, you can, yeah, I think you can tell it's foot. It's brown. Turn, turn up the contrast. Up. But that looks like a brown teddy bear. Too. The answer is brown. Oh, right. Okay. Well Ooh. done. Well done on that film, Arachnophobia. Very scary. Nice That's going to be in my on. nightmares tonight. Hey, it's time for another award. And before we announce this award, let's have a few more words from, we've seen him before, Adam from the Australian Film Critics Association. Adam? Hi, Rocketeers. My name is Adam Ross, and I am the chairman of the Australian Film Critics Association. Coming up next, we have Best Actor. Now, when you're making a film, acting is so important. Think of all of your favourite movies, and I bet they're your favourite movie because you have a favourite character. And the reason why you have a favourite character is because of that performance. So when you're making films, remember that actors are the greatest resource that you have. You may have no money, no special effects, no sets, but a great actor can take you anywhere in the world. So tonight we are here to celebrate a brilliant performance, and coming up next is the award for Best Actor. Thank you, Adam. Okay, as Adam said, we have two Best Actor Awards coming up, one for our in-service films and the other for our online homegrown films. Now, the Best Actor Awards are presented to the child who best harmonise their dialogue and body language to portray their characters. Acting is all about expression and emotion, and these children convey conveyed these beautifully. Very nicely said, Matt. Thank you very much. Okay, so first up, we have the Best Actor Award for our in-service films. Ooh, cannot wait. Woo! And the winner is... Drum roll. 
It's Ivan Gishkariani Miles from Giant Olympic. Hey! Well done. Let's cross over to Ivan. Congratulations. You've won free movie tickets for a year. How do you feel, Ivan? Good. Good. Well done, Ivan. Now, Ivan, um, uh, tell us about uh, this film. How'd you make it? Did you enjoy making it? Yeah. What, yeah. What was your favorite bit? When the shot book came in. <laughs> yeah. And it destroyed the whole thing. Now, did you find it hard as you've won the acting award? So how did you find learning your lines and, and, and doing all that stuff? Did you find it easy or did you find it hard? Probably easy. Pretty easy. Oh, you're a natural. See, you're a natural Ivan. and that's why you've won the acting award. All right. Wonder what's next. Congratulations, All right. Ivan. All right. Can't wait to see you on the big screen, sir. Well done. All righty. Uh, let's move on. Oh, yes. We've got a special, a special guest, I believe. Special guest? Yes. Before we announce our next best oh, actor Oh, that's award. right. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, a special guest who would like to encourage all the filmmakers who participated. Yes, in the Rocketeers Film Festival, it is the great Aussie actor Johnny Pazvolsky. It's Johnny Pazvolsky. Hello, Johnny Pazvolsky. A few words. Hey, Rocketeers. Uh, my name is Johnny Pazvolsky. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I've been working in the film industry for more than 30 years. Now, most of my work has been in front of the camera as an actor in, uh, in films like Mordecai and Rising Wolf. Hey, hey, it's Esther Blueberger and um, TV shows uh, like Westworld and The Moody's, McLeod's Daughters, and a, a very special show called Play School. Uh, but I actually started behind the camera. I studied and worked as a film editor. I got a, a job at an animation company painting cells. I worked as a production runner, uh, an assistant director, a director. I joined camera crews. I just, I just wanted to know every part of the filmmaking process and why just because i love movies i i love the way you can tell a story through the medium of film i love that you can uh, put so many pieces of this film puzzle together to create a, a kind of uh, magic and that is what you've done here for rocketeer and the best thing is there are so many parts to the to the film process that there is a place for all of you so my message to you is just be curious and courageous about how you see the world and tell the stories that mean the most to you. Find what it is you love about making films and imagine. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks, imagine. Johnny. That's imagine. Good Always remember to imagine. Yes. So, on to our next award. Yes. Uh, we have the Best Actor Award for Online Films. Yes. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> and the winner is... Roman Gulati from Arachnophobia! Congratulations, Roman! Oh, let's... let's cross to Roman now. Congratulations, Roman. How does it feel to be winner of the Best Actor? How, you Roman, feel? how did you feel? You have to stop. Good. 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 <laughs> now, Roman, that uh, we all remember that great face you pulled at the end of Arachnophobia when you were looking directly at the camera and the spider was about to attack. You were <laughs> smiling. You were so relaxed. Can you tell us about your performance during that time? My bear was actually black. <laughs> oh, oh bombshell. Gosh. And that's why we crossed to you to make sure we get the right answers. Oh yes, right. Oh my so gosh. Everyone who said black, uh, it was a black bear before, you're correct. It Roman, was a black bear. thank you thank for you, telling Roman. us. And then tell them, how did you feel? Now, like, Roman, what, what inspired you to make that film with the spider on the, on the trampoline? Do you like spiders? Are you scared of spiders? Not scared. Not scared. not scared and see we could see that coming through your performance i thought here's a boy that's not scared of spiders even if they're almost the same size as him and they're going to come <laughs> down next to him on the trampoline that's right you and were it, so happy about and it. it yeah so happy that it even attacked his friend behind the camera so well done <laughs> roman well done roman you've got I movie tickets you. for a whole year so well done get back out there, there back go. to the cinema yes all right everybody should we Oof. move on to the next Exciting stuff. Next section, which yes. is... Yes. The next section. The next 
Ah, yes, 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 yes. We should go to the next film. And that is from South Australia. Yes. It's the junior division. Our filmmakers are Lini Vandermeer, Madison Sampson, Aaron Sampson, and Ansinia Paris. And the film is The Cavern on the Hill. Don't go in there. Why is that? Because there's big spiders. Oh, Brownie and Rosie just went in there! Ah! Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Probably was nothing. It's coming closer! Ah! 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 I'm sure they'll be okay. Oh, they will be fine. Oh no. Well, well done. done. I don't think they're going to be fine. Fine ish. Fine ish, yes. <laughs> Excellent performances from that one. I was on the edge of my seat. There, I know, on the so edge of my seat. Let's cross over to our next one. We are going to New South Wales this time. It's mm -hmm. the junior section. Our filmmaker is Sarah Atakaran. And the movie is The Magical Land of Bubble Bay. Boy, it's cold in this cave. Might do some exercises to get warm. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, Mum, I'm ready to travel to the magical land of Bubble Bay. I'm ready. Okay, bye. Put that down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that coral. Did I just talk underwater? Fish live in that coral. Oh. I certainly did. Well done. That was so well done. There were some smooth transitions smooth in there. transitions. Beautiful work on the green screen there. I love the, um, the ringtone you had there. Great. Your favourite song is the ringtone. Really good. I liked it. Um, shall we move on to the next movie there? Let's, let's play the next one. Where is it from there, Emma? Our next one is from Victoria. It's part of our senior division. Our filmmaker is Dylan Lamont. And the film is called Suit Up. Hey, Dad, can I go to the playground? Yeah, okay, but you have to be home by seven. Okay. Oh, shoot, I'm late. Hey, Google, suit up. Okay, suiting up now. Hey Google, take me home. Whew, just in time. Oh. Wow, very wow, cool. Wow, done. Very cool. And did the right thing by um, crediting the appropriate uh, uh, special effect there at the end. Well done, Dylan. Very nice. Dylan. That was really impressive. All right. I so, wonder if Siri got a credit in that one. Uh, <laughs> she should have. Well, <laughs> that was mind-blowing talent in those films. Um, but, M, yes. we actually have a couple of extra films from the online submissions that didn't quite fit into the criteria of the competition. However... Yeah. The storytelling was so good, we couldn't help but show them anyway. So uh, please sit back and enjoy these two little bonus films. We've got L Axolotl. From Lewis Wilkes. Let's check it out.
done. That was really, really, really impressive. That, was, that would have taken so long to make. It does take a long time. And let me tell you, when you're animating stop motion like that, to animate water, the way the water came out of the bucket and just spilled out like it was liquid, that is not easy to do. So hats off to you over there. I think Lewis could get a job working for Pingu or Wallace and Gromit. Yes, definitely. All sorts of things. Well done. That was super impressive. Let's move on to our next film. Yes. Uh, it's OK to be Blue. And it's from Lickney Matilde. Beautiful. Bravo, what a really nice message that one had. That was really good. And again, the animation was really, really, really impressive. So well done to you guys over there. Very, very nice work, like me. Um, all right. <sighs> so I think we've seen almost all our films. Um, so we've got some major awards coming up. But before we cross to them, yeah. I would like to cross over to Thomas from the Children's International Film Festival to give us a few words. Hello, I'm Thomas Cordwell, the Artistic Director of CHIF, the Children's International Film Festival. CHIF celebrates films for our youngest cinephiles, and we're proud to present cinema from across the globe that gives audiences access to stories, cultures and worlds that they might not otherwise encounter. We're thrilled to share stories of young people on the screen, and in doing so we hope to educate and entertain and inspire and empower the next generation of filmmakers. Making a film, long or short, is no mean feat. We're proud to be part of the Rocketeers Film Festival for 2021 and look forward to showcasing the winners in cinemas at CHIF next year. And now over to our hosts to announce the winners of the two Best Film Awards. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, it's As exciting Thomas stuff. Said, it's the two two, you could say, biggest awards of the night. I don't know, they're the last awards, that's for sure. And that's it's the true. two best film awards. One for in-service films and one for our online films. The best film awards tonight celebrate the films that combine scripting, acting and editing to convey these powerful stories. That's right. Okay, so let's right, get into let's it. it. First up, we have the best film award for our in-service films. Get it open, get it open. Drum and roll, the please. Winner is, drum roll, please. It's Bolt in One! Oh, Bolt Christopher in. Trotter, Matthew Trotter, Sienna Clegg and Ruby Lee. Wow, You've done it! Wow, you guys did it! Let's cross yeah. over to these guys. You've wow. won free movie tickets for wow. a whole year. Congratulations! How does it feel? Oh, I'm so yeah. Oh my god. It feels very let's, surprising. Let's what was that, Christopher? Oh wow. I'm Matthew, he's Christopher. Uh -huh, we've got both Christopher and Matthew so there. So we've got the Trotters. How do you How guys? How do you feel about it, guys? Good. Yeah, good. really good. Honestly, I am very surprised that I that we actually won. Yeah. Oh yeah. well, that's because yeah. the, there's some great competition out there, but you shouldn't sell yourself short there. Yeah. Uh, You're to talking, saying thanks. <laughs> Where's our guys gone? Hey. Let's um let's ask Sienna. How do you feel about it? Did you think you guys did a good job? Yeah. We, I think we did a good job and I'm very happy. Oh, I'm very glad. Is that, Sienna, is that your mum there? Yeah. <laughs> Sienna's mum, did you, how, did you like the film? Did you think they, they had a, they were in with a chance? <laughs> I did, I thought it was really good. I think everyone's done really, really well. So congratulations to everybody, I think. Oh, 
Lovely. Great. Lovely. Let's go down to Ruby. Yes, Ruby. Um, what What was your favourite part of working on the film? Were you into the acting or the writing or, or the, the filming of it? What was your favourite bits? I liked the acting. Ah, yes. Um, you guys all did an excellent acting job, I must say. Yes. Yeah. Now, were, did all, were all of you acted in it, correct? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now, who did who did most of the filming? Uh, I think we'll start from Star Time. Yeah. No, but uh, do you guys behind the cameras? Or was it your workshop? Ah, uh, you got got, no. So you guys did most of the acting and 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 got the script together. Well, hey, well done. You nailed it. Well done. Another round of applause. Yes. For enjoy the those movies, Bolt guys. Bolt in one. Bolt in one. Wow. Wow. Well done, Bolt in one. Okay. Right well, Movie's right okay, well, I think it's time that we now move on to our homegrown. Our homegrown best, homegrown best film. film. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> the best film award for the homegrown film goes to Suit Up by Dylan Lamine. Dylan, congratulations. Congratulations, Dylan. Iron Man himself. Dylan, you've won three movie tickets for a year. How does it feel to win Best Film? Uh, I think it feels feels very, very good because um, I can take some of my friends to the cinemas and yeah. we can watch movies together. That's right, yes, and you can get oh. inspired from watching those movies to go and make some more movies with your friends. Now, Dylan, I'm assuming you're a big fan of um, the Marvel movies and Iron Man, that sort of stuff? Uh, yeah, I, I'm a very big fan. The way you um, you got that special effect perfect, it really oh. looked like that suit was building around you, and you put the music in just at the right moment. It really got you excited just there at the right moment. There was very good editing in that one. Good editing. Did you edit it yourself there, Dylan? Uh, yeah, I edited it myself. All right. Did you do all of it yourself? Um, my, yeah. dad, my dad did the filming and I did the rest. But you were telling dad where to shoot and stuff like that, bossing him around, I'd imagine. He spent yeah. a whole week doing the nanotech for the Iron Man suit. <laughs> <laughs> You've been busy in your workshop, programming your robots and everything. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to build a, uh, an Iron Man suit. Oh, well, well done to the whole team. <laughs> yes, well done, everybody. Maybe you should um, shout your dad to a movie as well, seeing as he helped you. That's true. Yeah. I mean, The Eternals is, is coming out. Is that a, that's a Marvel movie? I one. believe it is, yep. Or Shang-Chi. There's oh, lots out there. out there too, yeah. Thank well, you, Dylan. You deserve it. Awesome well film. Well done, Dylan. Well done to all our winners and all our entrants as well. Anyone who made a film, congratulations. You've made it through a pandemic. You've made a film. It's in a festival. If, not, if it wasn't in the festival, it, if someone watched it. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, what a night. That, that ends. That oh. ends our awards. And But before we sign off, I think we've got a few more words from Warren. Is that correct? Warren. So let's uh, cross back over to Warren. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. Hello, Warren. Thank over you, to you, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. I don't yes, know if I should be thanking you all because as someone who is a real and genuine arachnophobe, there were, <laughs> way, there were way too many spiders for me. I don't think I'm going to have a great night's sleep. I want to congratulate all the award winners. The films were absolutely fantastic from tornadoes to spiders to, to superheroes. Um, I know who I'm going to call if I need my marshmallows roasted. <laughs> I know who I'm going to call if I need to get home in a rush. Um, and I, I've also learned, and hopefully you guys have learned some, some important uh, messages like don't get milk in a tornado. <laughs> anyway, at Camp Australia, guys, we learn and we grow every day. And our promise is to guide children's growth. And the Rocketeers Film Festival gave us an opportunity to do that through the power of film and the mag magic of storytelling. We hope that you all had a wonderful time. I want to thank everyone who was involved and who made this event possible. To you guys, Matt M., Star Time to Joe, Lindsay, and your team for a magnificent effort in providing the children with an enriching and engaging experience, both at home and in our services. To Thomas Caldwell and the team at the Children's International Film Festival for giving the kids an opportunity to showcase their work in cinemas, which is wonderful. To ambassadors Adam Ross from the Australian Film Critics Association and Jenny Buckland from the Australian Children 
Children's Television Foundation and the Australian Writers Guild. Thank you to my Rocketeers team who have worked tirelessly for months to make this event so special and to our educators who guide children's growth every day and who help bring this to life. To everyone who watched tonight, families, friends, teachers, principals, it is your support that is the most important thing to us. And finally, but most importantly, to all the children, well, actually, I don't know if I should be thanking the children with all those Spider-Man spider films, <laughs> but genuinely, thank you to all of you who participated. I'm already looking forward to next year's event from everyone at Camp Australia and Star Time. Have a great night. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. Warren. Thanks, Warren. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks, Warren. Great words from Warren there. Um, okay, guys. Well, Emma, that wraps everything up. I wish we could keep watching more and more films, but uh, we got through them all. So, guys, if you want to see the finalist films, um, you can go to the Camp Australia YouTube channel or even just the Camp Australia website, and they'll be there. I might get home and, and just watch them on repeat. Yeah, rewatch some tonight. favorites, see some more stuff. Because there's nothing better on TV tonight. That's this is the best stuff. <laughs> these films. Um, so, uh, anything else to say there, Em? Oh no! I mean, now that you've got the filmmaking bug, we hope go out and make another film. Yes, and so we hope to see more and more. Maybe next year, um, yeah. see some of these faces again, guys. You guys are the stars. You've done so, so well tonight. I'm really impressed and I can't wait to see more of your work in the future. So until next time, keep creative, shine on and good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. <laughs> da, 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 dancing, no music.